the scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First and 10, Newton. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that'll make it a second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. A first carry now for Alex Collins. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Play action, it's Newton. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 17, and he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here, we do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and that makes the score 7-0. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Touchdown, Carolina! Devin Funches, his second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Great corner route there. Not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field and you're breaking away to that corner. But that was well executed. Now D.D. Westbrook to return. 
Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Looking to throw. Able to shake him off. And he floated one out there incomplete. Niles Paul, the intended target, and it's third down. Love his pocket awareness, able to slip out of the sack. But once you take your eyes off the receivers, once your eyes come down and you see the rush, hard to get back downfield and find an open target. Fortunate, that one just wound up as an incomplete pass. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. side of the field and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down well that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one take the big shot right out of the gate at worst you'll open up the defense a little bit loosen them up have them back on their heels after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten They're going to look to throw. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Mario Addison in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. decision and this one hits at the one continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And the Panthers coming out now. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at the 20. They'll begin the drive with Collins. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. A loss of a yard there to start 20. out. That leads to a second and 11. Great, great. Single, 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 single. Ah. To throw on second down is Newton. His throw incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. 
But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Hey, hey! A shotgun snap for Newton. He's going to let this one go. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 30. And he takes it all the way down to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. And he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. Now whistles here and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They come out here in the eye. Now Newton. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Cam Newton now with two first quarter touchdown passes. And his guys are able to strike for six. An out route there for the... And now it's blocked. Gano out to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Left side complete, Safarian Jenkins. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. <laughs> On play action, they'll throw. He's going to air one out. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. They'll set up to throw, and that is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football, so I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Detroit! Detroit! From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they're able to work 
take this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. Try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Line of scrimmage again, the 25, second and 10. Second and ten. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. As his guys are in for six. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. Point after by Lambeau up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27. yard line so Newton and the Panthers come up now first and ten at their own 27 Newton to throw and nearly picked off Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Pretty good running there, nine yards. Sets up a third and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Gun, gun, gun. Newton looking to throw on third and one. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Telvin Smith coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Allen on to punt as he gets this one away. Now it's Peterson. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And the Jaguars go on offense. First down and 10. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. 
from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to fire one deep over, and that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Jaguars. DJ Shark, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly for six. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So, Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10, right at the 30. From the gun, here's Newton. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away at it's second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Malik Jackson there to make the stop. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Now it's new. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They begin with a run by Fournette. Powering forward. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. The Jaguars on third down. Just one for three thus far. This gun, is third gun. and ten. Gun, gun! Detroit! Detroit! Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Back to throw here. And he finds Safarian Jenkins. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. Detroit! Detroit! All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56.
They'll look to throw now on first down. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. K1 short. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll look to throw. And they'll get him down here at the 23. A gain of four on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. to throw and incomplete the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down you can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively several on the sideline motioning hey why not a penalty why not a penalty I, what did you see yeah I think you've got to let them play and the officials are instructed if there's contact coming from both sides no flag let them fight it out and forces fourth down that's taken on the 25 12 yards on the return that time. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. And they'll go on the ground. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Newton on third down. Got his target, Samuel. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Panthers are a two-point conversion away from tying up this football game. Now Newton will bring the Panthers up to go for two. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Now a play fake here on first down. Going for the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 29. A big third down play there for the Jags. 40 
47 yards. Detroit! Detroit! They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. D.J. Chark, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Carolina getting set to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Newton on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A big play there just before halftime, 42 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first down, it's Newton. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. The Panthers got to go quickly. They're moving with a sense of urgency right now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Gano's kick is right through. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach Gano out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Back to the Philly, here we go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Here we go now. Back to throw. He's gonna loft one deep left side here. And he's unable to grab it. 
Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Looking long for Westbrook. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively, now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. That, that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> now they try the right side here. Despite some fast footwork, he still wrangled down shy of the 15. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. On second down, here's Newton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches, and it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Throwing on third down, Newton. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. <laughs> you know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? To throw on second down is Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes. If they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback, they've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent Detroit, a long completion. Detroit. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. Had a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. 
A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Now back to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. K1 short. In there to get him for his second sack of the night. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. They'll look to throw here. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Over, 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 over. On third down, Fournette. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Two yards on the pickup there. It's fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh. they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Now they'll run it on the toss. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost four there, and it's third down. How about that, partner? That happened in a hurry. Sudden, explosive, gets into the backfield and spills the play. And he was AFC Defensive Player of the Week last week because of plays just like that. The Panthers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and 14. A shotgun snap for Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Pulled in at the 24. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns so one play and they're already just shy of midfield all right here we go Blue lady. Blue lady. and we're back now in charlotte it's jaguar football here and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four
first down, he'll drop to throw. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll drop the throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side, and it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you gotta be super careful. You gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Newton now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. And they'll run it here. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Here we go. Watch right. Watch right. Watch right. Off play action. Newton. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. On first and 10, Newton. Over the middle, complete. It's more. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And on the ground they go with the running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Now a handoff to Richard. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious. Because now it's caught inside the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Back to throw now on first down. 
And his throw is incomplete. The running back, Leonard Fournette, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. From the 21, it's second and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Buying time to his left. This will be caught inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First down, Jacksonville. The passing game looking sharp on this drive for the Jags. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Stepping up, he's going to... And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Their mobile, agile quarterback keeping it himself from eight yards out. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their own 26. there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Because of Patrick Peterson, I don't think that there's a skill position he can't play. How about his hands? That interception just sealed a victory for his team. Timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Gone, 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 gone. They'll run it again with four down. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. The Panthers are going to take another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Over, 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 over. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Lambeau will put this one through, and that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. 
So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Give him 30 yards there. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Newton. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Newton. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Give him 30 yards there. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Jaguars, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through seven games. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Houston Texans. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.